Hello everyone, my name is Carla Nay, and um, today I'm going to show you one of the ways that I check my Kindle Direct Publishing sales reports. Um, I actually use two right now. I use AK Reports and Data Sprout, and um, they both give different information from each other that I find you both of them a little useful. I like Data Sprout a little bit more. To get Data Sprout, it's a Chrome extension, but if you're on Firefox, there's also um, an add on here. And so you would just go to Google and type in Data Sprout, or you can type in datasprout.co, and then here you can click on free download for Chrome or free download for Firefox. And this button would tell you to um, add it to Chrome, which I've already have, so that's why there. And then once it's added, all of your little helpful icons here, you just click on the one that says Data data sprout and it's going to load your cells data now the reason you want to use something like data sprout or AK reports or there's a few others is because um, in your Kindle direct publishing account um, the information is it's it's not very useful you can see like if you go to your um, if you go here and you click on your reports you can see that you've you know how much how many books you've sold and you can click on it and down here you know it tells you how much money you've made per marketplace but it, you have to go to Google and type or use an app or something and do a, a British pound to USD converter and to a lesser extent if you make any uh, European sales, then you know you have to you have to figure out what does this equal. Like for instance, this is 84 in uh, Japanese, I think it's yen or whatever yen. I don't know. Um, is it's like 76 cents, whatever you know. So it looks like a lot. It's only 76 cents. But you know you have to convert this, and that's really annoying. You know. So um, you know you want to use something like Data Sprout. Or AK reports or I use both it's going to first show you as you're loading it it's going to show you your Kindle direct publishing screen because it's gathering that information and um, if you don't use something like this you're going to have to download every time you want to know what your cells are you're going to have to download a CSV file and then you're gonna to have to go through that and if you're like wanting to check your cells daily or I'm yeah I do it every hour it really uh, you know you don't want to be downloading a CSV and then overwriting that CSV file and then reloading that up and into Excel or Google Docs or or whatever and that can become that can become extremely um, time-consuming and annoying well it'll tell you here in your overview what today's earnings are it will give you your daily average this month and you can in your settings up here I'll show you a little bit you can actually change how you want it to commute compute your daily average and also how do you want it to compute your estimated income for April and I have set this to a um, uh, a more conservative uh, estimate there's one that would have my income being like really high and um, I'm not sure which one because I'm new to Kindle and um, direct publishing I'm not actually sure which one is more accurate um, so I just have it set on the um, calculated by daily average is how I have it and so right here you can choose do you want to see today's sales yesterday's sales and it has several different options here and if you use different pen names on your books you can um, you know select which author um, that you want to look at and um, here on all books um, you can go and you can look at sales data for an individual book like so maybe you have a book that's doing really well and you just want to see um, just the stats for that one book that's very useful too I've never actually used that but that's um, could be very useful and um, down here it's going to tell you um, this will change as you choose something else so um, like I'm going to choose yesterday and um, once you load that up for whatever you choose here, it's going to hopefully for you faster load your um, your your charts here, your bar graph, and um, all your information of how many you know. And if you're doing uh, eBooks, you know it'll tell you how many pages are read. Um, and as it's loading down here it's going to actually um, start loading in uh, more detailed information about each book and eventually here there's going to, it's going to show you the thumbnails of your top selling books 
And um, I find this very, like, I'm a visual person. I find that very useful. On here, you can see it will tell you, you know, the information. And what I really like about this is, like, if I choose year to date, I can look real easily here. And I can look at my top selling books year to date. And it will tell me exactly how much money I have made this year already, how many books I have sold, and also, you know, your paid downloads and, um, you know, free downloads, all that kind of stuff, pages read, which is, you know, important if you're doing ebooks. And I just find this extremely useful. It gives you your percentage. And this is one of the things I really like about um, Data Sprout. And um, so, you know, you can change this to see um, that was just yesterday. Let's say if I choose Muff to date here, and um, once it loads, then it's going to, there's a way I can look at um, how, how does my sales this month compare to my sales last month? And it's telling me, you know, my earnings are here, and you can do a detailed view, um, which is interesting. Um, you can go through here and like, you know, see what you sold. And then the comparison view. I usually use comparison view. I don't use detailed view as much because I don't really, it's, isn't it like the same thing really? I mean, it's the same. If you do d detailed review, it, it's pretty much the same thing there. So, um, we do comparison view. I mean, it just changes a little bit and it gives you more information. So why not just use that? And so look at last month. This is last month. And see, I'm new to Kindle. I'm new and um, you can see and the reason that I make doing so much better this month is you know I didn't just uh, I'm not some amazing person or something you know I've been doing print on demand for a long time at Kindle their publishing is very new to me and it's just because Easter <laughs> I uh, made a very good book for two books that are very um, related for Easter and both of those are performing very well and um, a lot better than I expected and so I'm actually I expect that next month um, I I because there's no really big haul you know the, there's no really big things that for the type of book that I did um, coming up until later in the year so I probably won't do as well next year next month as I did this month but I'm really excited about this month for being new so I can look to see how I did for the month the year all that kind of stuff so now um, to get these things here to change, if you go into settings, if you're doing ebooks, this is for you. I don't do ebooks, so that's that's irrelevant for me. Um, for currency, um, I just do USD because I'm in America. And um, here's where it says on uh, that second amount on the first page, it says daily average calculation. Um, you can average this month or average over 30 days. I usually like to actually average over 30 days. It's set differently here because I'm actually on a different computer but I on my other computer I have it set as average over 30 days and I feel like that gives me a more accurate um, average and then for this month's estimate formula it tell, it's estimating what they think you might make and um, the computer daily average is very it's more conservative and then the regression line 30 day trend let I'll show you the difference if I you saw earlier it said 800 or something on computer daily average if I go to regression line 30 day trend and I go back up here to reports watch how this changes and also you know that I changed the daily average too so this is going to change too and so on my daily average it will um, you know the estimated income for April if you do the regre regression line is going to be a lot more and I'm since I'm new to Kindle Direct Publishing I actually do not know um, which one is going to be more accurate but I think CSA in 1266 this is April 15th and it's like you know Easter's this weekend and so my cells are coming from Easter uh, an Easter book two Easter books the last week of this month you know I'm though I'm not going to be getting those cells so this estimated income for April is pretty much at like what do they think I'm going to get if my cells continue as much as they are all the way to the end of the month and my cells are going to drop off in a few like soon and then Next couple days um, you know as it approaches Easter because they won't get the book in time so um, that's what it is so I usually um, keep this on computed daily average and over 30 days and so that is um, my overview of data sprout and thank you for watching my video and um, please uh, click the subscribe button so that you can get new videos from me thank you